everybody. My name is Godwin Jovu, and I'm going to be teaching you how to install Visual Studio 2010. Okay, after you run your ISO or you pop in the DVD, what you get is an autoplay screen that pops up. Um, the easiest way to do this is just click on run auto run.exe. Right, click on install Microsoft Visual Studio 2010. Now, I hate anonymous uh, messages being sent away from my machine because that eats up my bandwidth, and I am on limited bandwidth since I'm in South Africa. Um, so whenever I get the chance to to not enable this, I won't. But if I was on an uncapped network, for example, I would say yes, send information about my setup experiences to Microsoft Corp because what that does is it allows them to create a new, better Visual Studio to work with in the future. Now, most of the setup process is pretty much automated, so, you know, it's not confusing, it's not um, rocket science. If you don't know what you're doing, it's going to tell you. You know, the questions are clear cut. Um, the first time I installed it, I wasn't an expert. I wasn't watching any video tutorials on how to do this. I just, you know, look and read. And um, I suggest that if you want to take your time, read into the questions that you're being asked. Um, but most of it should be fairly simple. Okay, after it's done the checkup, you click on Next. Right? Now, if you're into South Park like I am, you'd want to read this. But if you're not, you know, just click on I have read and accept the line systems. Next. Okay, do I want the custom, do I want the full? All right, so that's how much space I've got. That's how much space is required, and that's how much space is going to remain on drive C. Okay, I do have another drive, drive E, but um, that's a Linux, that's a Linux drive, so I can't install there. Um, you know, preferably install it on your C drive, you know. You can choose full or custom. I want the full installation. Generally, what custom does is, um, I'll just click there for you, and click next. It gives you the option to install certain functions of uh, Visual Studio 2010. For example, if you're not going to be using C++, you know, programming, you don't need to see the C++ function. If you're not going to be using F Sharp, you don't need that. If you're not going to be doing any visual web development, you don't need that. However, I suggest that, you know, you, you do the full installation it takes care of a lot of things. Some things you don't know what you're exactly you're disabling unless you're an expert. So I don't really advise you to go to custom unless you're an expert. Full should give you everything you need. And believe me, it's everything you need. Um, all right, this is going to take a while. It's pretty much automated from here on. It's going to take a pretty long while to install all of this. Um, my machine is pretty slow. Coupled with my, you know, Lake of Space, I'm... I suspect it's going to take a while to fully install. So what I'll do here is I'll pause this for a while, buddy. Um, now that it's complete, what you should see is a screen that says success. Visual Studio 2010 has been installed and setup is complete, as you can see here. You can read the install documentation if you like, or you can go through any one of these from Microsoft Update, Security Notes, Readme Notes, Installation Log, and Visual Studio Gallery. That's if, of course, you're one of those really, 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 really intrinsic people with a bit of OCD and um, you just want to know every single detail. Um, however, apart from this, this is how you install Visual Studio 2010. I hope this tutorial has been worth it and I hope you've learned 